This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. We shall now talk about human digestive system. The human digestive system consists of the elementary canal and its associated glands. The elementary canal consists of the mouth, oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum and the anus. While the associated glands consist of salivary glands, liver and pancreas. Let us start by identifying each one of them in the picture given here. We can see the mouth or the buccal cavity. Why it is called the buccal cavity? Because it is empty space. When you open your mouth, you can see some empty space or the cavity. And this empty space is called the buccal cavity. The mouth cavity by which food is taken into the elementary canal and chewed is called buccal cavity. Now, after mouth you can see the oesophagus or the food pipe. This gets connected to the stomach. The stomach gets connected to the small and the large intestines. And further these intestines end up in the rectum and the anus. Let us now locate the glands. Our salivary glands are in the mouth somewhere near the throat. Then we come to the pancreas. Now pancreas is a large cream colored gland it is under the stomach you can see this cream color here these are our pancreas and liver is a reddish brown you can see this reddish brown colored liver it can be seen that it is placed in the abdomen on the right side What happens is that the ducts of the glands open in the elementary canal and they release their digestive juices there. Let us now discuss how food gets digested when it passes through the various parts of the elementary canal. Food is taken in the body through the mouth. The digestion of food starts as soon as we take the food in our mouth. The mouth contains teeth, tongue and salivary glands. Here teeth, grind, chew, and break down food into small pieces. Also here the saliva from the salivary glands mix with the food. This mixing of saliva with the food is done by the tongue. And now what is the role of salivary glands? They secrete saliva. Then the question arises why is this saliva so important? Because saliva digests starch present in the food.
when we eat rice we take in lot of starch and many other food materials have lot of starch this starch gets digested with the help of saliva also this partially digested food now is swallowed in and the swallowing part is also done by the tongue so we should remember that the mixing and the swallowing part of the food is the function of the tongue when we swallow the food where does it go it goes into the esophagus so let us now talk about esophagus or the food pipe 